This video is designed to show you how the online proctoring is going to work for all of your exams in this class. I apologize for all the clicks that are necessary. We've had some technical difficulties, and this is the only way we've been able to get everything to work. So uh, I make a video and a list of instructions for you to hopefully get us into the testing successfully. How you're going to get into the testing is first you're going to go up to the menu bar on your web browser, and you're going to go to the Big Ben webpage. That's www.bigben.edu. And click on Thor in the top right corner, our logo. When you do, you'll see several banners here. The second banner is for Canvas. That's where you've gone before. The first banner for Angel is where we're going to click today. Angel will get you to the online proctoring. When you click on Angel, you may be asked to log in, again, with your Big Bend credentials, just like you log into your email or any computer on campus. And then you'll see a list of courses in the top left. Go ahead and click on our course, the math course, either Math 95 or Math 99, you'll see. And then you'll see a link for Tegrity. It should be just about the only thing in the Angel shell. Click the Tegrity, and it's going to open up a new window. You may be asked to verify that it's okay to open up a new window if you have some type of pop-up blocker. Once you open up this new window, you'll see the Tegrity Recorder. In the top right corner is the word test. We're going to hover the mouse, do not click, hover over the word test, and you'll see a pop-up for start new test show up right below. Click start new test. When you click start new test, the Tegrity Recorder will load and you will see a pop-up that verifies that your webcam is working and your audio is working. You can adjust the audio volume. You probably want to try and avoid seeing all this red at the top, so you can adjust it down to get less red, and if you're not getting a lot of green, you can adjust it up to get more green, get the volume to a good level. Once you see that everything is working, go ahead and click Next. And you're going to be asked to verify your identity. The way you verify your identity is you're going to smile for the camera, and you're going to hold up some photo ID that verifies you're who you say you are. This could be either your Big Bend ID, or it could be your driver's license. Most common, I see people use their driver's license, but something with your name and a photo, so I know it's you taking the test. Click the link for Take Photo. And it'll show you a sample of what the photo looks like. If you think you look beautiful on the photo, go ahead and click Next, or you can retake the photo if you desire. There are some instructions that will pop up about where the recorder is and what it looks like. Hit Start, and it'll say the recording will start momentarily, and once that recorder pop-up disappears, it is recording. You'll notice in the bottom right corner, as I talk, you can see the volume bar bouncing around. What this is recording is the webcam is recording you, and the screen recorder is recording what's on your screen. At this point, you're going to need to do two things before you start the test. The first thing you're going to want to do is verify that you have completed your workbook. So at this point, you will hold up your workbook to the camera and flip through all the pages that correspond with the current unit so the webcam can see that you have filled out every page in the workbook. You want to see every page in the workbook so that you can get full credit for the workbook being completely filled out. After you have flipped through the workbook, you're going to be asked to verify the test-taking area. You do this by taking your webcam, and you need to scan your tabletop space to prove there's no notes out that you're cheating. You'll need to scan around to show that you only have one monitor hooked up. You'll need to scan around to show that you're not using any illegal calculators. If you are using a calculator, say that test allows a calculator, for example, that you can use a calculator on the final or some other units. If you are allowed to use a calculator, show me the calculator you're using so I know it's the approved calculator. You want to show me as much as possible to reduce the chance of you being accused of cheating. This is your security, so don't be afraid to show me too much around your test taking area. Once you've done that, you're ready to take the test, so you'll put the camera back up in position so that I can see you working. If you can possibly uh, position the camera so that I can see the paper you're writing on as well as see your eyes so that I know that you're not looking at some cheat sheet somewhere, that would be appreciated as well. 
and then you're ready to take the test. You'll simply have to minimize the Tegrity window, and then you can go back into the online homework, wallmap.org, and log in and take the test. After you're done with the test, and you've submitted the test, and you've seen your preliminary score on the test, after all of that is done, you're ready to stop the recording. In the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see a stop recording button. It's like a stop on your VCR or DVD. Click stop recording. You'll get a pop-up that says, do you want to end the recording? And the moment you hit yes, the recording stops. And that's all it takes to do the online recording. It's very important that you leave your computer on and connected to the internet for the next 15 minutes to allow the recording to upload to the internet. If you disconnect from the internet or if your computer battery dies, the recording may not be saved. So please make sure you leave it on and connected to the internet for about 15 minutes afterwards for it to upload. That's all it takes to make an online recording for your test, taking your test at home. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck.